Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gerhard Schwadner, and I created Selling Power magazine in 1981 on a shoestring budget and built it up to the largest sales management publication in the United States. In 1999, I was offered $10.5 million for my company, but I decided not to sell. Why? Three reasons. First, I believe that doing what you love is more important than more money. Second, making a difference to others is more important than more money. Third, quality of life is more important than more money. The philosophy of more is like the philosophy of the cancer cell. I believe in the philosophy of enough. I learned from Zig Ziglar, if your standard of living is your major objective, quality of life almost never improves. But if quality of life is your number one objective, your standards of living almost always improves. As a magazine publisher, I was privileged to meet and interview extraordinary people. I divided them into three groups. The doers, the thinkers, and the scientists. The doers, of course, are the winners in the world of business. Many of them billionaires like Richard Branson, Mark Cuban, Mark Banioff, or Michael Dell. The thinkers were the interesting authors like uh, Seth Godin, Zig Ziglar, or Tony Robbins. The scientists included Dr. David Burns, Dr. Albert Ellis, and Dr. Marty Seligman who became legends in the field of psychology. I also met with three U.S. presidents, several heads of state, Olympic gold medal winners, race car drivers, astronauts, NBA stars, and many more. Why did I invest hundreds and hundreds of hours studying those amazing people, writing cover stories, and writing 16 books on selling, sales management, and motivation? Because I wanted to improve the world and make a difference. And for me, that begins with creating the best version of myself. And I needed a lot of work. I wanted to get better. I believe that we live in the most interesting time in the world. Every single day, you see new advances in technology, science, and medicine. Yet every single day, we see human potential wasted. I see people engaged in a losing battle with their own minds. When we run our sales 3.0 conferences, I hear three major complaints over and over. My salespeople are not making enough calls. They lack confidence. My salespeople don't work hard enough. They lack perseverance. Or my salespeople don't do what it takes for as long as it takes to win and to succeed. They don't make quota. Sounds familiar? The solution does not come from motivational speeches. I remember Jim Rohn said, if you have an idiot, and you motivate him. Now you have a motivated idiot. This program is unlike anything on the market. It is all about creating the right mindset that peak performers use to reach their goals and achieve amazing levels of success. When people shift their mindset, amazing things happen. As a matter of fact, one of our graduates shot a hole in one on the golf course but just making that mindset shift. I just remember I'm gonna visualize, I'm gonna pump myself up, and then not only, it was only five days later, first hole, first swing, hole in one. And in this video series, I will share the science and the action steps that you can take to create your peak performance mindset. You will discover how the levels of your mindset operate together. And let me show you what they are. At the bottom level, we have the implanted mindset. What does that mean? That is your foundation for your mindset operating system. Picture this as a garden that you have planted as a child. You've observed your parents and caretakers and watched their behaviors, and you learned their belief system. And also every significant experience turned either into a beautiful flower or it turns into a troublesome weed. You will discover ultimately that you can continue to water the flowers and you can stop watering the weeds. The next level is the imprinted mindset. As you grow up, you meet with impressive people that will open your mind to new ideas. Some may be the teachers in a college, professors, or heroes that you look up to. The third level is the inspired mindset. And that's your inner voice that's speaking to you. 
Bill McDermott, the CEO of SAP and the author of a wonderful book called Win a Stream, calls it the inner magic. And many of you have that. Almost everybody has inner magic. I also remember Mary Kay. Uh, Mary Kay asked, she shared a similar idea with me saying, everyone is born with an instrument. And it's your responsibility to discover what it is and then learn how to play it. Here's what peak performers do. They create a stronger foundation. They can reconstruct consciously their implanted mindset. They expand their imprinted mindset by connecting with a tribe of mentors. And they tune into their inner voice. And they take action. They commit to becoming the best version of themselves. And the key for peak performance is to integrate all three levels of your mindset. And in this program, you'll learn how to take charge of what we call the executive function of your brain. And that's the prefrontal cortex. We also call it the inner CEO. So you can consciously deconstruct, reconstruct, shift, and improve your mindset. Now, let's get started. Please download your peak performance mindset assessment. This will be your starting point that will help you become aware of the gaps to be filled so you can achieve peak performance. It will take you only a few minutes to complete and use that link below to begin your download. Please join me in the next video where we will begin the creation of a mindset that will lead to your success. Thank you very much.